And if you're going to have a great 2022, yes, the key, he's calling. And we are coming. We are running. We are responding. We are ready. I said we are ready. Ready to run with God into 2022. Not just to run, but sometimes if you haven't done this, in the holiday time you have to just push the pause button for a second and ponder think about what it is that you have to surrender you know sometimes it is surrender that takes you to the next level or to the place that god has for you <laughs> we're not busy with some superficial relationship we are not like the prophets of Baal that jump around the altar. When Elijah repaired the altar of the Lord and he prayed, God heard him and God answered him. And I really do feel tonight, standing in this place, watching on television in churches all across the country, that song is a key for us for 2022. That God is calling each and every one of us into the deep unknown. That God has great plans for you. But these plans will flow from a deep, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. You've heard this a million times, but that's what it is all about. This is life eternal, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. There is no life beyond that. There is no promotion beyond surrender. And sometimes... We go through difficult places so that we can get back to what really matters. That this is not some superficial, as I've said, empty Sunday experience. It's a walk with God. And I've learned in 35 years that God will never take you beyond your level of surrender. So I don't know what it is that you need to surrender. Maybe nothing. I don't know. Maybe a prayer. Maybe your time. I don't know. I don't want to impose anything in your mind. But as we sing that song again, let's realize that God is no respecter of persons. That God has no favorites. That God is calling each and every one of us. And He's calling you by your name. And He's calling you to be that special person that He predestined you to be. We are not going to conform to this world. We are not going to conform to the expectations of people around us and to the dictates of what people say about us and about our future. This is our safe place in the presence of God. That is why church is so important that we can come here and we can have a God encounter. Not just a message. You'll encounter God through the Word. But our worship is a very, very special time where we have to let go of all the distractions. And oftentimes it's in the worship that God will talk to you about your life, not your friend's life. You know, sometimes people will tell me, Pastor, that message was for so and so and they were not in the church. Oh no, that message was for you. And tonight is for you because God loves you and God has a divine place for you. Thank you. 